So when you're looking at problems with rates of change, usually involving fluids, you have P is equal the way the fluid enters minus the way it leaves. So in our case, we have salt water into a tank. So the way this new salt water is entering minus the amount of pounds of salt per gallon of water times the rate at which that leaves. So in our problem, we were told that salt water is entering four pounds per gallon of it is entering at a rate of three gallons per second. So we have four times three minus then we have P over, initially we have 100 gallons in our tank, so P over 100. And then the rate it leaves is also 3, so times 3, okay? So then the next thing, that is very large, but the next thing we're doing is we're just going to multiply this stuff. And so we have change in P, so dP dt is the same as P prime, is 12 minus 3 over 100 times P. Okay. okay. So now we're going to move over to this board. And formally in this section, we were said that du dt is equal to ku for some u equal to c equal to kt. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, u equals r dp dt. And that's equal to 12 minus 3 over 100 P. All right, so now we're going to take the derivative with respect to T. So we have du dt is equal to negative 3 over 100 dp dt, which we said is u. So negative 3 over 100 times u. So that means that in our equation here, k is equal to negative 3 over 100. So now if we go back and say, and take this equation here, we end up with c e to the negative 3t over 100. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go back and set this back to our equation that we had before. So that's equal to 12 minus 3 over 100 P. Okay. So now we want to solve for P. Simple enough. So let's subtract 12 from both sides. So we have CE to the negative 3T over 100 minus 12 equals minus 3 over 100. Okay, so now let's multiply both sides by negative 100 over 3. So I'm going to flip these around and say that this is just 100 over 3 times 12 minus CE to negative 3T over 100. And that's equal to P. Okay, so now we have two letters in this equation, and we only want t for time. So that means we need to solve for t, solve for c. Another, issue, another part of this equation that was given to us was that initially there are 30 pounds of salt in the tank. So that means at p of 0, so when t is 0, it equals 30. So let's write that over here. p of 0 equals 30, which equals... 100 over 3. Well, actually, we can first say that 100 over 3 times 12 is the same as 400 minus 100 over 3. C e to negative 3 t over 100. Okay. So 300 equals 400 minus 100 over 3, 
c e to the negative 3 times 0 divided by 100. Okay, so negative 3 times 0 is 0, divided by 100 is 0. So we're looking at e to the 0, which is just 1. So this is really just equal to 400 minus 100 over 3. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 400 from both sides. So we have negative 370 is equal to negative 100 over 3c. Or divide everything by negative 1. So 370 equals 100 over 3c. Okay. So now we don't really have to solve all the way for c because 100 over 3c is right here. So I'm just going to take this 370 and plug it there. So that means our general equation, so p at some t, is equal to 400 minus 370e to the negative 3t over 100. All right, so that's A. So now the next thing we want to know, I'm going to go back over to this board to erase some stuff. The next thing we want to know is what time will there be 50, at what time will there be 50 pounds of salt in this tank? Okay, so I'm going to say P of T1, and T1 is this time we're looking for. I'm going to make sure you know the difference between T and T1. So actually, I'll just P at, I'm going to call it P of F, because F is 50. So P of F is equal to 50. This is what we're looking for. And that's equal to 400 minus 370 e to the negative 3, f divided by 100. Okay, so we want to solve for f, because we're looking for that time. So let's track both sides by 400. So we have 350, negative 350 equals negative 370, e to the negative 3, f over 100. All right, divide both sides by 370. So just say it's 35 over. 37 equals e to the negative 3f over 100. All right, so best way to get rid of an exponent e is to take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of 30, oh, that's an ugly 5, 35 over 37 is equal to the natural log of e to the 3f over 100 which is just equal to negative 3f over 100. Okay, so then we're just going to multiply both sides by negative 100 over 3. So f is equal to negative 100 over 3 natural log of 35 over 37, which comes out to about 1.85 seconds. Okay. Did I write A there? No. I'm just going to circle that. Okay. So then the last part of the problem says what is the limit of P of T? So I'll just do that over here. I want to know what's the limit as t approaches infinity of p of t. Okay, we already said p of t is equal to 400 minus 370e to the negative 3t over 100. So we have the limit as t approaches infinity of 400 minus 370 e to the negative 3t over 100. 
Okay. So as t gets larger, this value here gets smaller and smaller because you have the negative here. So this and this become smaller and smaller and makes this closer and closer to zero. So we end up with this just becoming zero. So we have 400 minus zero, which is just 400. Now, what that means is that's basically the maximum amount of pounds you can get in that tank. So as time goes on, that's the most you can have. That's the problem.